Great stuff out there. Great Love it. stuff. Yeah, and good stuff. Uh, the day of giving, or at least the season of giving, right? Oh, truly. And I was going to say, yeah. and with this uh, conjunction of stars, man, I tell yeah. you, it's like got extra special meaning for some people. Yeah, it's going to be a treat in the night sky, and that is when Saturn and Jupiter are going to, you know, be right next to each other in the space. And uh, we'll talk about that coming up in just a bit. But first, today, the winter solstice. We are finally at the end of. Uh, the year where we're starting to see the shortest day and the longest night, and that's today and tonight. And we'll see about, uh, let's say, 10 and a half hours of daylight today and 13 hours of nighttime tonight. So planning out your week looks pretty good, mostly sunny for the next few days. Warming trend through Wednesday and a big cool down arrives by Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Highs go from the lower 80s down to the lower 60s. Now, right now it's 47 here in the city, pretty chilly, 40 in San Antonio, 46. Over in Houston, all thanks to this area of surface high pressure that keeps things pretty dry and quiet in the forecast for the next several days, with the exception of these mid to high level clouds coming in from Mexico and from the west as well. But for the most part, pretty dry and pretty stable for the next couple of days. Right now, 49 in Robstown, 46 in Alice, 48 in Kingsville and 43 over in Beville. Speaking of Beville, seeing uh, reduced visibility down to zero and Rockport down to a mile and a quarter northeast of Port Aransas and on the way to Victoria along Highway 77. So if you're getting out there this morning on 181 or Highway 77, please uh, be careful out there. Have the low beams on and just be careful out there because uh, some of those pockets of fog may, may be difficult to navigate through. So this morning, afternoon highs will start to warm up into the lower to middle 70s. A gorgeous day on tap. It's going to be great. Warmer than average and some spots out to our west may reach about 78, 79 in Robstown, Mathis, Orange Grove and over in Alice. Now, late tonight, tomorrow morning, uh, things uh, cool down, but not by much thanks to a ramp up in humidity, more moisture in the air. You know, overnight lows are only going to drop into the lower 60s early Tuesday morning, and that's pretty much the trend going forward. Thanks to high pressure moving out east and away from South Texas. That's going to give us more humidity over the next couple days throughout Wednesday until this cold front arrives in the South Texas, and that's going to give rise to a small chance of rain, but you'll see on this future cast model, uh, by about Wednesday, 530, a lot of the uh, strong to severe storms out near Louisiana, Mississippi and the Ohio River Valley, and that's all closer to the area of low pressure. But for us, just a cool down coming in for Christmas Eve and clear skies and more mild weather in the afternoons as well. But you'll see if you're traveling, if you have any friend, uh, friends, family traveling out northeast, uh, they'll have to encounter this pretty strong snowstorm uh, for the Midwest as it rides up the northeast coast into New York, uh, Boston, Connecticut, and uh, the New, New England area. Now for us, not Arctic cold. I mean, we're talking about a cold air mass, but just not frigid cold. We'll go from 81 on Wednesday down into the lower 60s on Thursday. And also not to mention the mornings will be back in the upper 30s by uh, early Christmas Eve. So today's forecast uh, morning in the 40s, highs in the 70s, a combination of sun and clouds, just a nice day to kick off the work week. If you have any plans outdoor today, it's going to be great. Highs are going to be very comfortable and uh, decent humidity. But by tomorrow and Wednesday, uh, the humidity starts to ramp up thanks to that south wind. Right now, today, about 5 to 15 miles per hour, but overall pretty mild. All right, seven day forecast shows that warming trend through Wednesday. More clouds by middle of this week. Cold front it moves in by Wednesday night, which is setting up a cold and cool Thursday and Friday, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So if you have any plans outdoors for the holiday, it looks pretty good. Just chilly. Have a couple layers handy for the morning and afternoon. Guys.